and welcome to Stories and Stuff. Today our book is They Came by Mark Tertulli. They. They came. Across the far reaches of inky space, past the glow of planets and sparkly stars. Why did they come? What do they want? Why are they here? The giant machine roared and hissed. It tweeted and creaked. It made all manner of mysterious sounds as it rolled into position for landing. Clip, clip, clip. The heavy metal feet hit the ground, shaking bicycle frames and spilling cups of juice. <laughs> Streams of steam and smoke flowed from holes in the iron face, and the odd robot ship stopped in its tracks and became silent. Why did they come? What do they want? Why are they here? They came to steal our things, bullhorned police captain Pinchneck. He ordered his officers to surround the great spacecraft with yards and yards of stand back and do not touch tape. They came to take over our TV shows and become more famous than anyone, announced star reporter Sparkles Galore. She directed that bright lights be plugged in and cameras be focused on the huge, motionless machine. They came to take our whole entire planet, blasted Tank General Turret. Secure the perimeter, he commanded with his great commanding voice, but mostly because he loved saying words like secure and perimeter. Suddenly, the giant gadget from outer space groaned and burped. Then something like a door popped open. This is it, the end has come. Start filming. Load the cannons. Stop, screamed a high-pitched voice. It was Stephen Sprout, the smallish kid from Garnet Lane, who wasn't big enough for a two-wheeler, and it was rumoured to sleep with a nightlight. And here was that same smallish Stephen, standing in front of all the cops and cameras and cannons with a humongous metal space creature right behind him. Why did they come? What do they want? Why are they here? They came for marshmallows! Puffy pal marshmallows, wow! <laughs> <laughs> Laughed everybody. Just then, a great rubber tube sprang from the spaceship's open door and stopped right where Stephen stood. At the end of the tube was a metal box, and on the metal box, a small door. No, do not open it! We're doomed! Are you getting this? But in the box was a cup, and in the cup was... Mmm, delicious hot chocolate. It was slightly spicy, lightly salted, super sweet and creamy, and full of flavours he'd never tasted before. It was almost the best hot chocolate in the universe, and Stephen knew just what was missing. See? They came for marshmallows! How? How did you know? How did you know they came? For marshmallows? Because everybody likes marshmallows. But they came for something else, too. We came to share. Now this is sweet TV. <laughs> and that was They Came by Mark Tertulli. Don't forget to subscribe for more stories soon.